face of God as a little child cries out to her father in the night. I see the face of God as a weary soldier finds true peace close on his eyes for the last time I see the face of God When a tormented mind Reaches out to find peace For the very first time I see the face of God When a lonely soul Standing in the edge of empty A new beginning, a new life, a better world, a better time. Look for Him, He promises that you'll find that glorious, amazing, wonderful, awesome face with us alone. Reach out as to see that wonderful face. So if you're that child in the darkness, searching for a light to shine, If you're the one facing death, struggling to leave this world behind, look for His face. If all the glamour of this old world has you with a torment in mind, look for His face. Giving up on life, and you're standing on the edge, and you're looking down, and you're waiting for the courage to end it all. Don't look down anymore, but look up, look for Him, and find His face and the hope it'll bring you. It's such a lovely face, filled with amazing grace. He said. Son to give you, oh, such a great, great, a great marvelous love. It's such a powerful face, one that can rule the world through time. Still, he reaches down. Take the hand of those lonely, lost and afraid, and to lift them up to find love and hope and peace of mind. Give them a new beginning and give them a new life, a better world, a better time. Look for Him, He promises. 
that you will find that glorious, amazing, wonderful, awesome face with eyes of love for you. Reach out and ask Him to see that wonderful face. I just want to share with you my testimony. Because I know what it's like to be all those different people that we talked about in this song so far. I know what it's like to be like a little child crying out for my father in the dark. You know, sometimes it seems like this this world is so dark. And we just need that big hand of our father, our heavenly father, to reach down and wrap around ours. And you know, when we see his face at that time... You know, maybe we can't see it with our eyes, but we can sure feel it with our heart. And it's the face of a loving father that says, it's going to be okay, child. It's going to be all right. Trust in me. And then the next part talked about the face of God, seeing it as a weary soldier, finding true peace that closes his eyes for the last time. And that's a face of welcome. Welcome home. You know, we don't even have to fear death. That when our Heavenly Father is welcoming us home, all we'll see is that wonderful, glorious face that we've longed to see. The face that's kept us going all the way through. It's such a precious face. You know, it goes on to talk about tormented mind reaching out to find peace for the first time I had a tormented mind I never will forget a friend of mine when she got saved she looked at me she said what is that feeling she says I've never felt that before and I said it's peace and she never felt it ever before in her life you know with God you can have peace you can have peace of mind and I hadn't had much peace of mind in a lot of years before I came back to the Lord. And when I did, He gave me a peace that nothing can steal away. Because it's not a peace that's founded in what the world is doing and what's going on around us, but it's a peace that I find when I look into that wonderful face, when I look into His Word and I see His promises and I see His love there. And I know that it's going to be okay. And I know how it feels to be like the next person that I talked about in this first verse. A lonely soul standing on the edge of empty. And I was looking down, getting the courage to commit suicide. Matter of fact, I found the Lord. I I had given up hope on life altogether. And I'd messed myself up so bad that I knew there was no hope for me. There was nothing that could fix my life. But I remembered the God that I had served when I was smaller. And I started looking for his face. And I tried to drive my car off of a hairpin curve with full intentions of not making it. And I asked him, I said, God, if you're real, you can stop me. And if not, just I'll just die because there is no hope for me if you're not real. And I meant that, and that was so true. But you know, it was real. And as I went around that curve, I wasn't even, I wasn't even on the road. I didn't even squall tires. I was in the air and I made it around that curve. And that was the beginning of my finally stopping running and my putting my hand in his. And I looked up and I saw that face. And it was a face of grace. It was a face of a love where he had sent his son to die for me. You know, it took me a while to get this thing together because I had so much. I'd done so much and I had had so many battle scars from my time of sin. And I never will forget the time when it finally dawned on me what he had done for me. And that was when 
I, I just couldn't accept his forgiveness and I couldn't forgive myself. And it was like he reached out his hand to me and I could see it. I could almost see it with my eyes. I could see those nail scars in his hands. And he said, my child, I did this for you. He did that for you. If you're going through this time and you think there's no hope and you're about ready to give up because it seems the craziness of this world is something that you just can't endure. Don't give up hope. Don't keep looking down. Don't keep looking down over the edge. But look up, look up and ask him to show himself to you. And when you see that wonderful marvelous face and like I said you won't see it with your eyes but you'll see it with your heart and when you see it it'll change your life and you'll know that you can have hope you'll know that you can make it through whatever it is that you're going through you don't have to give up you have someone to hold on to and he has such a lovely face It's such a wonderful love. And he can give you peace. He can give you hope. He can give you a new life. That's what he did for me. Guys, I'm talking about something that happened over 45 years ago. And I never regretted it once giving my life to him. And asking his help. And he helped me and he lifted me up out of a place that I thought there was no hope from. But there was, and he was my hope, and he gave me hope, and he lifted me up, and he set me on a strong foundation, and I've been there ever since, and it doesn't matter what the world is doing and what you're facing, because he hasn't changed a bit, and he'll see you through, he'll see you through, just look up, don't look down anymore, look up. Look up and ask him to show himself to be real. And he will. That's what he did for me. And I saw that, that wonderful face. And I grabbed hold of a hand that I've never let go of through all these years. And it has held me. And it will hold you. You do have hope. You have hope in him. So I want to ask you. Is it worth giving up for? I mean, I'm convinced that when someone takes their own life, that they wake up in hell, and I know I'm not God, and I don't have a heaven or a hell to put anybody in. But if they give up before they even find him, And the Bible says he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come to the Father but by him. So if if you give up and you take your life, then why take the chance of living in hell for forever? Because this is nothing like hell is going to be. You may think it's hell. You may think it's a terrible place here on this earth. You may think you can't endure it, that you can't go on. But it may be that by taking your life, you'll be facing hell for eternity in a place that unimaginably bad, that there are no words to even describe it. And it will be eternal torment in eternal darkness. So hold on. Find a source of hope, a source of help. God. And he can be there for you. And you may think, well, he's not going to be there for me. Nobody's there for me. He was there for me. And the reason why that I was taking my own life, because I thought that I was lonely, alone, totally alone, and that nobody cared. And I never will forget that feeling that I had at that moment. But you know, I found somebody that did. And he cares for you. Enough that he gave his own son to die for you. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. You can not only have a good life now, but you can have a good life for forever. 
And God can bring that about in your life. If you just trust Him and yield to Him and allow Him to. And look up. Look into that wonderful, amazing face. And I promise you that you will never, ever be the same that I know because it happened to me. It's such a lovely face Filled with amazing grace He sent His Son to give you To give you His great love Lost and afraid, and lifts him up to find love, hope, and peace of mind.